Jessica, you changed my life when you came along. A few of you knew me before then, but you, you wouldn't have wanted to know me. Jessica's the first reason I had to think about anybody but myself. And she has that effect on people. She makes you want to be a better person. I appreciate her for everything she's added to my life and all of the lives of the people around us. And consequently, when she started trying to bring people around to join our family or start a new one with her, I didn't see anybody that I could sign off on for that job. I was always afraid, what if they don't leave? And this is the person. And then she brings this guy. And instead, all I would worry about is what if he left? Because this guy is one that's a keeper. And uh, he never gave me any reason to think he would. He's uh, perfect for my daughter. I think she's perfect for him. He's certainly perfect for me, as you can tell. So if she ever gets tired of him, I'll keep him around. Creston, today I have known you for 886 days. 886 days ago, I walked into an Outback Steakhouse and sat down for a date with the most handsome man I'd ever shared a meal with. Sorry, Dad. <laughs> I had no idea how much my life was going to change. For each and every one of those days we have known each other, you have shown me what it means to be truly loved and cherished. Without fault, you have put me first and stood with me through the best times and held my hand through the worst times. You showed me that home is not a place, it's a person, and you are my person. Since the day we met, you have been constantly dedicated to making me feel safe and happy. I have watched you effortlessly work towards being the best version of yourself for us and our future. For every day forward, I promise to spend the rest of my life le never letting you forget that you are my life's greatest treasure and my entire life's purpose. Jessica, as I've told you in the past, I've waited a long time for a woman like you. A woman who is beautiful, smart, kind, and generous, loving, strong, and most of all, genuine. Now that my prayers have been answered, this I promise you. I promise to always be faithful. I promise to love you unconditionally. I will trust you and respect you. I will hold you and comfort you in times of need. I promise to always be by your side. I will for the rest of my life do my very best to make you happy. You may kiss your bride. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor, privilege, to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Creston McKay. I promise to always continue working towards being a better version of myself than I was the day prior so that you have a wife you can be proud of. I promise to always put our marriage first and be not just physically present but emotionally present as well. 
I promise to be your best friend, your teammate, your partner, and your biggest supporter. I promise to stand with you no matter what circumstances life might bring our way, good and bad. You make me happier than I ever thought possible, and I promise to try my best to do the same for you. I know that life might bring us many uncertainties over the coming years, but one thing I will always be certain of is that standing here today, committing to a lifetime with you, is the best decision I ever have and ever will make. There truly is no one else in the world who could love me the way that you do, and I am forever grateful that I get to fall in love with you over and over and over again for the rest of our life. I loved you then, I love you now, and I promise to love you forever. Not a day goes by where I don't picture your beautiful smile, and thank you, I'm a lucky man. Jessica, I love you more than you will ever know. Although I'm not a man of many words, I will always say these three words. I love you. A perfect marriage is one selfish act. Picking the best person you can, and you've done that, and now you're, you don't get any more. No more selfish acts. As long as you always put each other first, you'll be what everybody is striving for.